In this video, you will learn how to apply fabrics. In other videos, we've learned how to change the visual background of the design. Now we will look at how to alter the properties of the design. One way to do this is to select a different base fabric. Go to Design and Fabric. The software has eight different base fabrics that you can choose from to select for your design. By choosing these fabrics, design properties are automatically changed to update the properties of the design, especially for this fabric. Notice the stitch count of the design. When we select a new fabric and apply that fabric, the stitch count will update appropriately for that particular type of fabric. First, place a check mark by Apply Fabric and then choose from the drop-down selection a type of fabric. I'm going to choose a knit medium weight for this particular design. When I go OK, another dialog box opens and asks me what I wish to do with this design. And I want this to apply the fabric to existing objects. So I'll leave it as it is and click OK. And when I do that, design properties are changed in the background. It may be altering the underlay, the stitch length, um, maybe the density of the design. That is all taking place in the background. And you'll notice the stitch count has now increased based on my fabric choice. Also notice that the type of fabric is listed in the status bar. So you'll always know what type of fabric that design was uh, appropriate for. In later videos, you'll learn how to create custom fabrics based on the eight base fabrics. You can also insert a design into a template of one of the eight fabrics, and this will be covered in another video.